Hello and welcome to my vidIQ review where I'm going to be going through and demoing some of the most popular features that can help you build and grow your YouTube channel. If you would like to test out vidIQ before I get to my final review at the end, I will leave my link in the description. You can always try them for free, so be sure to check that link and you can follow along with me if needed. Right off the bat, I love the fact that vidIQ has so many features for you to utilize on your YouTube channel. Let's start off with generating video ideas. It's pretty simple to do where you can enter your own title or topic. That's what I'm going to do here. Click on generate and show you how it works. All right, kind of a long one here, but let's roll with it. How to use ChatGPT in Canva to create 100 Instagram posts in 15 minutes. Let's see what we get. Let's click on generate. All right, so as you can see, we're going to have what we created here. We have some related keywords. We have the title in case you want to use that. The description is completely done for you, which can save you a good amount of time. Some tags that you can utilize, some example uh, thumbnail backgrounds. Obviously, you can always add more to that. The hook, you won't believe how easy it is to crank out 100 stunning Instagram posts in just 15 minutes using ChatGPT and Canva. Pretty good. They're also going to have the hook, the intro, the presentation of the problem, the CTA, and you can generate a script as well if needed. Not too bad of a feature if you want some quick ideas in terms of generating them based upon keywords or phrases that you already have. Up next is going to be the vidIQ Optimize feature. While this is a solid feature, something to keep in mind that a lot of these are going to be ballpark kind of averages and or guesses. Just because something isn't all the way green or at 100% doesn't always mean that you need to edit it. But giving you an example here, they are gonna give some suggested titles. I will agree this is probably one of the most plain Jane titles you're ever gonna see, but the video is doing well, so I purposely don't really need to fix it around. Talks about a review right here, so it says while your tutorial content is great, the title could use significant improvement to attract a wider audience with more emotional appeal, intrigue, and relevance to the content. So that is a good idea there. I probably could just add a little bit more if needed. It talks about what's going to be great here and of course what needs improvement. So intriguing elements, obviously this is going to be plain that goes with the title. Use of common formats, so it's clear informative but it lacks once again that attention grabbing elements, the emotional triggers, and so on and so forth. So this is a great way I'd say this is something you probably probably want to do if your video you probably could have a little bit more or even if it is already doing well you could probably do even better so and I always love doing reviews like this because it's a great way for me to look at my channel and say hey I definitely can improve this let's go in here take some time and make these little optimizations to help increase our traffic next up is going to be the vidIQ keyword section I think you're really going to love this feature Overall, there's going to be the overview where it focuses on top keyword opportunities, top search terms for your channel, and of course, rising keywords, which are going to be much more broad, say something like Olympics or maybe a big Marvel movie that's currently out. So those can sometimes be hit or miss if they're not within your niche, but if they are, something really you want to keep an eye on. Aside from that, top keyword opportunities are fantastic, especially for the fact that they're going to give you a lot of them right here that you can go off and then, of course, from there, branch off and find even better keywords that you can go after. As an example, let me type in a keyword from here. All right, and it wouldn't be a keyword research example without using vidIQ themselves. So it's fantastic. Not only do they give you an overview where it comes to the search volume and the competition, which is always going to be a ballpark, right? Just because one is very high doesn't always mean it's going to be that competitive. Sometimes it'll be lower and it'll be a little bit more difficult. It fluctuates, but it's one of those instincts that you get better at the more videos you create over the time. Now, with related keywords, matching terms, and questions, you are going to have an absolute plethora of keywords that you can go after in terms of creating videos for your YouTube channel. One of my favorite sections right here is going to be questions. Questions are very valuable because a lot of times, say if you have a channel that maybe promotes products, offers, maybe you're doing lead generation, or maybe you just want monetization, questions are great because usually a lot of times they're long tail keywords. People don't like creating content around them, but they're very targeted. So it's gonna be great if you are looking for a specific action out of those keywords because people will tell you specifically. As an example, someone can type in the YouTube and to say white sneakers. However, if they want to say white male sneakers that are size 13 for running, you know exactly what they are looking to purchase, right? It's going to be much more descriptive, a little less traffic, but that traffic is so targeted and a lot of those questions can really help you find that many times. We have matching keywords and of course related keywords as well, but just let's just say we want to go to matching keywords. Let's go here. Now we have this plethora of keywords that we can utilize where it talks about number of words, competition, search volume. Once again, it's not always going to be as high as it says it is, but it is a good idea to notice that like some of the top ones are definitely going to be a lot more than the ones that are way further down, which I'm not going to even scroll all the way down. Okay. Another great thing about this, let me give you an example. 
Let's say we typed in affiliate marketing. Not only can we look for matching keywords and like questions for how to start, now we have a plethora of related keywords where we can go in and check these out. So this can really spider web and branch out to give you so many ideas of keywords that you can use. For example, we were starting about affiliate marketing, but then we can look into stuff related to say passive income. Now look for this one, we're talking more about ClickBank. And I think there was one with a website without a website right here and with Pinterest. So you can keep clicking on each of these and going through the process of finding more and more keywords that you can jot down, copy, however you want to get them. VidIQ is fantastic for keyword research. I absolutely love what they have going on there. If you're looking for even more ideas when it comes to creating winning videos, Outliers is certainly going to be a tool you're going to want to check out using vidIQ as well. With this, you can discover winning ideas to inspire your next video. The idea here is you enter in your keyword or phrase, and once again, we're going to get all these videos related to vidIQ that have done really well on these channels. So what it does is it analyzes their channels and compares it to other videos have done. These are going to be some of their best when it comes to relating to these keywords. And if you'll notice, you can really change the filters around here. So the outlier score in terms of how well it's doing, the views per hour, which means that it's getting a good amount of traffic over time, the video length, the views, the subscribers, and of course the publishing days. So a lot of great information here that you can leverage in order to help you create even more videos. If you need some quick daily ideas, vidIQ has you covered there. As you can see, these ideas are going to be personalized around your YouTube channel, your niche, and of course, what you're going to be talking about. And it has a view prediction on the side. So the ones that are very high probably want to create a video about that because the chances are you're going to be getting many more views by doing so. Now, there are so many more features that vidIQ offers, but I wanted to save the absolute best for last, which is going to be trending keywords. Now, this is a feature that you can utilize inside of YouTube, like many of their other features. But what you want to do here is go to a channel and simply click on the three dots right here and do view trending videos. So what this is going to do is showcase videos with the highest views per hour. Naturally, a lot of the videos that were just recently re released are going to have very high views per hour simply because their audience has seen them. But what you're really looking for are, say, videos that are maybe a couple weeks old, a month old, a few months old, years old. That's going to tell you that if they are very old and they're still getting a lot of views, then that's a good sign that they're getting a lot of evergreen traffic. And these are the types of videos that you want to create because not only will you get traffic in the beginning, you can continue to get traffic for a long period of time. Here's a perfect example. Three years ago, and it's getting an average of 10.3 views per hour. How I learned how to sell anything. That's a great one right there. You'll notice this is a day ago. This is three days ago, nine days ago. That's why the views are still high. This one was six months ago, but probably not going to be creating a video from zero to million in one year if you haven't done that, okay? Uh, the only thing's keeping you from your goals. Three months, that's not so bad. Here's a great one right here. Five years, sales funnel strategy. So what I can do is just type that keyword into YouTube in an incognito window. Let me show you. All right, so if I type that in, you're going to notice we have an ad first, and then Russell is going to be number two for that. Now, he's probably ranking for some other keywords related to that. For example, it could just be like sales funnel, how to convert a sales funnel, sales funnel hacks, whatever it may be. If I type them in, we can find out. But right off the bat, this is going to be a great keyword to go after because it's showcasing that this specific keyword is still getting a lot of traffic today, even though it's been created four years ago. And YouTube loves fresh content. So if you create something newer based around that, you're probably going to be doing pretty well with it. This is just a prime example of viewing trending keywords on specific YouTube channels. And in my opinion, it's one of like the best kept secrets. I think this all by itself is worth the price of admission An absolutely fantastic feature that vidIQ happens to offer. And I haven't seen it anywhere else. All right, so now that we've taken a look at some of the best features, in my opinion, that vidIQ has to offer, let's conclude this vidIQ review. So vidIQ is undoubtedly one of the best tools available for YouTube creators, offering a wealth of features that can take your channel to new heights. The keyword and video research capabilities are fantastic, providing you with deep insights into what your audience is searching for and helping you tailor your content for maximum reach. Additionally, the Video Outliers feature is a standout, allowing you to identify videos performing exceptionally well in your niche so you can learn from their success. Finding trending keywords has never been easier, ensuring your content stays relevant and ahead of the competition. These features alone provide more than enough value to justify using vidIQ, but as you might already be familiar with, vidIQ comes with a ton more helpful features. For instance, the competitor analysis tool lets you keep tabs of what other creators in your niche are doing, while the channel audit feature gives you a comprehensive overview of how well your channel is performing and offers actionable suggestions for improvement. 
With vidIQ, you're not just getting a tool, you're getting a powerful ally in your journey to YouTube success. It comes highly recommended and you can click the link in the description to try vidIQ for free today. That's going to conclude my vidIQ review. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.